Hey guys, so guess what? We'll be 21 weeks tomorrow. Like, that's freaking crazy, right? So, 20 weeks and 6 days today. Um, If you're wondering why I'm doing this so early, it's because I work at a bank and we're off today. So, and I just got out of the shower not too long ago. I am I just got done blow-drying my hair a little bit ago. And I'm letting it air dry before I straighten it and stuff like that. So, I figured while I'm waiting, I go ahead and do this video. So, nothing much has really changed besides the fact, um, I can't remember if I told y'all last week that my, that the ultrasound tech said that, uh, I have an anterior placenta, so it'll be a while before I can really feel and move around. So, last night in bed, I felt him move around a little bit, even more, more than usual. And then today, while I'm just sitting here, I actually felt him move around a little bit more. So, slowly but surely, I've been feeling him move more, so, which is, um very calming to like my anxiety um i still need to like go and make the video talking about like the miscarriage and stuff like that and how it made me feel um because it's a whole video itself so this week i've actually been craving twizzlers and those little lifesaver mints I actually bought a bag of mints the other day, took them to work, and I forgot to bring them home last night. So it looks like I'll be going out and getting some more. But, um, what else? Like, I feel like I'm the opposite of every... Of everything that everybody says, like, oh, if you're craving sweets, you're having a girl. If you're craving spicy stuff, you're having a boy. This and that, like, like I'm craving sweets, but I'm having a boy. But what else? There was something else. I can't remember what it was. I normally write everything down, just just because of the whole baby brain and everything else. Um, what was it? I feel like my eyes, like. One's kind of like open, one's kind of shut. Like I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Um, what else? Oh, I've been sleeping better a little bit more, um, just because of my um, CBD daily that I've been taking and the Vital IQ. So, which has been a lifesaver because. I get up super early and basically don't go to bed until about like a little bit late, just depending on what I have planning. Cause I normally don't get off until like six fifteen, six thirty, or don't don't get home until about six thirty. So whenever I get home, I have all these things I have to do, so it kind of varies. Excuse me, so it kind of depends on like when I go to bed, or if I even feel like doing anything at all. So. It's been a lifesaver. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but I, I wake up like maybe like once throughout the night to go to the bathroom. Sometimes twice, just because like I drink a lot of water as well. So what else? And like according to like my apps, my baby apps, I should be having stretch marks by now, but I actually don't have any stretch marks like so I've been using cocoa butter a lot like a lot of cocoa butter like a thick layer like on my chest my stomach my hips my back um I can say that because like every woman is different every pregnancy is different um since I'll be 21 weeks tomorrow like I started about like a week, a week or two ago, maybe, is when I noticed that it's really hard to see the shave. So, like, I kind of have to, like, this is really embarrassing to, like, talk about, like, on video and, like, 
sharing with everybody. But this is real life. This is raw. Um, to show that like the other pregnant women that they're not alone, especially for first time moms. And I'm a first time mom, so like you have to like kind of like feel around. So that's how you have to like shave and stuff like that. Like I don't like I feel really like I'm really embarrassed even like to admit that. But my body's changing. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just because we're growing a little tiny human. So, and then it's super uncomfortable to shave my legs. So, like, before, like, I'll be able to just, like, put, like, a leather on some shaving cream, shave my legs, or whatever. Um, I actually, it's super uncomfortable to shave my legs. Like, I can put the shaving cream on, I can do, like, the upper half of my leg, and then I do a little bit of, like, the bottom half. And then that's where it gets, like, super uncomfortable. So, I'm having to have, like, my boyfriend help me shave my legs. Just because, like, all, like, the twists and, like, like reaching down to, like, get, like, the bottom half of your leg and stuff like that. And kind of, like, reaching around to make sure you get, like, the back of your legs and, like, the, um... Just to be able to like see what you're doing and stuff like that. So it's just kind of, yeah. So like I have to have like my boyfriend help me like shave my legs. So it's okay. Like there's a group that I'm in on Facebook where a bunch of women are doing March. So it actually makes me feel better because there's are there are women that are like do like beginning of March and like they say they they and they say that like they cannot like see to shave so like their husbands has to like shave for them so it's like so I don't feel bad for my boyfriend having to like help me shave my legs so and like they said that it started about right around right around this time and stuff like that it was like when they started to like notice like the uncomfortability like not being able to see and stuff like that so that makes me feel really good and I'm passing that on to you guys as well so ladies it's okay like everything's changing um pre I feel like prenatal depression is real like I feel like I've noticed that lately as well like I don't want to go to the house like we have like a vacation plan to go down to Florida to see some family and everything. And. <sighs> I feel like I can't breathe sometimes. But I actually. And normally like I'm like really excited. Like I get like all of our luggage together. Start planning stuff. And like I, don't, I honestly haven't done any of that. Just because. Like, I really don't want to go. Because we're flying down. And it'll be like our first time flying and we've never flown before so it's just kind of like do I really want to go like do I not want to go but I have to go because we've already paid for it and we tried going down to Florida over the summer and we canceled it and they wouldn't give us our money back so all they gave us was like flight credit which is stupid and, um, especially with this whole, like, because it was, like, basically, like, hot in the pandemic. So, it's, like, why can't we have our money back? So, but whatever. Like, they're stupid. Um, what else? But yeah, so I'm feeling a little nervous, like, I don't know, um, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit nervous about that, like, he's nervous about flying, but he's also excited, I'm nervous about flying, but I'm also excited, at the same time, I'm just like, my anxiety is like, whoop, so, what else is there, 
And yes, my doctor actually said it was okay to fly. Um, they say it's okay to fly up until like about a certain week. And by the time like we leave and come back, I'll actually like be that right at the end of the like the cutoff, I guess. Some say like at like 30 weeks, some say like at 34 weeks. So who knows? But I feel like I wouldn't really be at the, really be at the right of the cutoff because I'll be 21 weeks tomorrow, and I think I'll be about like 24 weeks, give or take. I'll be 23 weeks when we leave, and 24 weeks when I come back. I don't know. I have to look at the calendar. So, like, I'll be like pretty much like halfway through like 20 weeks. Like, almost, like, a quarter way or quarter in of this pregnancy. So, what else is there? I feel like there's so much more stuff that I want to, like, say. But I'm just, like, because of, well, baby brain. I do crave, like, a lot of, like, orange juice and, like, apple juice as well. Um, they say there's, like, potassium and orange juice. I've been drinking a lot of, like, a lot of orange juice. And, like, I still get cramps in my legs, but, like, they're not as bad. But, like, I will wake up and, holy crap, they hurt so bad, though. Like, they hurt really bad, but not as bad. Like, it's hard to explain. Like, I can barely, like, stretch my leg out and I'll straight and I'll get a cramp. And it's just, like, whoo. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. So, yeah. I mean, they hurt, but not as bad. But they hurt really bad. Like, it's so hard to explain all that. Like, I know it's crazy. It sounds dumb. I know. But, um, like, I'm going to see if, I'm going to ask my doctor if I can actually take, like, potassium pills or something like that. Just because, um, like, I love bananas. But apparently this year, a lot of people are having, like, nap problems with bananas after a certain amount of time and stuff like that. So, I'm going to make sure if I can take potassium pills because I'm tired of waking up from a dead sleep with a cramp in my leg. Every, not every morning, but basically, like every other three to four days and like I mainly get them in my left leg I got one in my right leg that made my right leg sore for like a couple of days like it was bad and this was before I started like drinking like a bunch of orange juice again like I like I was craving it then I stopped and then I'm like I craved it again so but yeah, I feel like this is a little bit long of all over the place rambling, but um, I'm going to try and actually post some like different content other than like my vlogs, my journey and everything else. So stay tuned for that and I will see y'all guys next time.